Today on Southern Accent Foods, I'll show you how to make this classic Southern summertime favorite, pimento cheese. Shout out here to the late, great Louis Osteen. This is my adaptation of his recipe. Of course, I'm going to chef this up a little bit. This isn't entirely traditional, but I'm going to roast my own red bell peppers. If you don't want to mess with all this, just use a 7-ounce jar of diced pimentos and you're good to go. Get yourself two red bell peppers, or three if you need a decorative one for your top-down shot. Cut them in half and remove the giblets and the gizzards. Put the peppers skin side up on a parchment lined sheet pan and get them under the broiler until the skins are charred and blackened. If you don't have a broiler, just set your oven as high as it'll go. When they're done, put them into a paper bag and fold it over so the peppers can steam and soften up. Alternatively, you could just put them into a large bowl and cover with plastic wrap. If you're enjoying my videos, click that like button so more people can see them. It really helps the channel out a lot, and I thank you. When the peppers are cool enough to handle, remove the charred skin. It should slide off fairly easily. This is a mess. Make your kids do it. Please don't rinse them, and it's totally okay if you have a few black specks here and there. Chop these things up into a small dice, and we'll add them in at the end. Get a large bowl and toss in four ounces, that's one half of a package of room temperature cream cheese, three quarters of a cup of mayo, Duke's is the only serious choice here, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, optional, and what I think sent Lewis's recipe over the top, one tablespoon of grated shallot or onion. You won't believe the difference that makes. Using a hand mixer, blend everything up until nice and creamy. You could also use a stand mixer with a paddle attachment, or if you're nuts, you could try to use a spoon and do it by hand. This next step is where you can personalize things a bit. You're going to add in 24 ounces or a pound and a half of grated cheddar cheese. I use the sharpest stuff I can find, but think of your family's preference and go milder if you like. Now there's no reason for you to watch me grate 24 ounces of cheese. If you can't get that sorted on your own, I'm going to hold you back a year. I like to mix it until it's just combined and still has a little bit of texture, but if you like it more creamy, then blend it to your preference. Lastly, add in your beautiful roasted red bell peppers or the jarred pimentos. Just mix until they're incorporated. This is ready to eat now, but it'll improve overnight in the fridge as the flavors combine. And here is your delicious summertime favorite, pimento cheese. Louis Osteen, thank you for this part of your legacy. Take this stuff to the barbecue, and it'll be the first thing you run out of. That's all for today. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you'd like to see me make, and watch another one of my videos here. Cheers.